Hello. <laughs> Check out this tree behind me, man. This thing is awesome. We stopped off here in uh, Santa Barbara. We're on our way down to Southern California to see my buddy Matt. I'm on my way, about to jump on an airplane tomorrow to go to Garrett's place, but stopping at Matt's house is kind of my jump off point for jumping out of LAX. And we're gonna check out his animals at his place. I'm gonna pick out my top five favorites. But first I wanted to stop here at the park and every time I see a tree like this, look at this tree. So every time I see a tree like this behind me, which I think is like a giant fig tree of some sort, it always reminds me of uh, life the roots are kind of where you start your place in life and although they grow out a bit they're kind of in one spot and then you got your trunk which is your main life growing up and then you get the branches up top which is the rest of your life and you branch out towards the light and the sun and try to be i don't know closer to god i guess i just always have to stop and appreciate things like this this awesome beautiful example of life and how life can and possibly should be. The more you can be like a tree, I think uh, if you can find that analogy and make your own life the way a tree makes its life, then I feel like you're doing a pretty good job and probably doing a really good job actually at life. So again, just had to stop and film this thing. Stopped at the park. This park is called uh, Kids World. Super cool park, probably the best tag playing park I've, I've been on with the kids. Game of tag here is phenomenal. And uh, yeah, but just wanted to say good morning to you guys and stop off here we're gonna head off to matt's house now Woo -hoo. what do you know i know do, 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 do. um yellow yellow yeah what about yellow that it's bright and it's a color and let me find something that's yellow how about uh, that this slide over here? Yeah, or that. No, or that. Um, that's one of my favorite colors. That's all I know. Um, hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. A park. A park? A park? Yeah. What about a park? That it has slides and yellow slides, yellow slides, and that's all I know the one who had. Bye bye. Whee! You know, I really don't know why you brought this whole tub. <laughs> hey, mommies. Yes. So how are you feeling? Yes. Are you ready to take on these? Uh, ready to take on these kids by yourself for a week? Oh, I won't be alone, except in the mornings. But I will be with Grandma and Grandpa. Just Stop singing! Do you have anything you want to say to me so I can watch it when I'm gone? I'll be watching this while you're here and I'm gone. Um, miss me, miss me, now you gotta kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> So, Noah found a ketchup packet here in Brian's truck from some time and was playing with it and it exploded all over the car. You can see remnants. While it was very angering, is that a word? Angering? Perfectly represented what having children is like. Exploding ketchup. Bye, Scrimmy. Bye. I'm gonna love you, bud. Bye, Daddy. I love you guys. I miss you guys, okay? You guys gonna be good for mommy? Yes. You guys gonna and be, grandma and grandma. Gonna be good for mommy and grandma and grandpa? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. And we're going to put mine guys away in mine yellow and in mine tree. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had mine. Everybody. What? I love you. I love you too, bud. You got my snake mug? For her NNS. Oh. And that means they're happy <laughs> <Gigi. NNS. laughs> Can I have a smoochie? We were going to go to the Habit Burger. Have a smoochie? Mr. Bernardin, I enjoy your Southern California temperate weather. However, your traffic sucks the big one. What's going on here? Reach around reptiles. 
Nut bars! Oh, so you put them in a big black box. Let's fix this problem here. There's something going on here. Mm. Uh, that's much better. And all was well with the universe once again. I came here to show you guys the top five animals at Matt's place because Matt allows me to use his house as a transit station every time I come through this corner of the world. So I figured the least I could do is make a video <laughs> of myself. It's <laughs> not what I signed up for here. It's a Matt Bernardin vlog. That's what we said. You said I'm gonna come over and film the Matt Bernardin vlog of SoCal Herbs. Yeah, no, SoCal Herbs, not Matt Bernardin. Oh yeah, so, oh, so SoCal no one Herbs. knows, oh yeah, SoCal Herbs. SoCal Herbs. SoCal Herbs vlog. SoCal Herbs. And then you took it over. Again. Take it over. Sorry. So let's check out my favorite animal here. It's a snake. Can you believe that my favorite animal here is a snake? This is number one. I'm just sorry. I'm just like reaching in your cages. I'm sure you don't mind. I've got one problem with this animal. It's that it's much bigger than my own. It's big and black. Yeah, it is very large and black and long. Why isn't mine this big? Not feeding it, I guess. So obviously you guys know that I like indigo snakes. Actually, I'm not gonna reveal any more facts any longer. I'm just gonna keep you guys guessing. I didn't start this vlog until I finished sweating and I ruined it because then I could have had something for you guys to guess about, which is why was I sweating? But seriously, let's just take a look at the animal. Something to sell. <laughs> something to sell. Have you ever seen uh, the movie Run, Ronnie, Run? No. You haven't seen Run, Ronnie, Run? Oh, Jesus. How many of you guys have seen the movie Run, Ronnie, Run? I would like to show, give me a show of hands down in the comments. How many of you seen Run, Ronnie, Run? How many of you have seen Run, Ronnie, Run? The movie. No shame, no judging. I just wanna know if you've seen it or not. You can create a fake account to leave your answer down below. So I was gonna tell you why this is one of my top five favorite animals here at SoCal Herps, but I changed my mind. Not, not about it being one of my top five favorites, I just, I'm not gonna tell you why. By the way, you can thank Matt for my brand new attitude. You're welcome. I changed my mind. I'm gonna tell you why indigos are awesome. Well, never mind, I lied again. I can't tell you. It's just, there are. You have to hold one to really know. Once you hold one, and just kind of see the way they interact with you, then I think you'll really appreciate what it is I'm trying to explain that I'm failing at explaining about how cool these snakes really are. You're all invited to my house to handle my indigos. Just let me know when you're coming so that I can make sure to call off the guard dogs and the people with the shotguns at the bottom of the driveway. And then you come on up. For this next animal, we're journeying to the outside world. The outside world of Southern California. Oh, why is it locked? God, I'm just failing at this today. There's some brighter than that. There, now it's not so bright. Hey, Matt. What? Are you gonna show us what's in that cage right there? Plants. Lots of plants. Cage full of plants. Oh, and I'm making it darker and brighter and I'm just jacking everything up today. Oh, there we are. So Matt, Matt's wife, Kendall, has really been working on uh, bioactive enclosures, so she's got all kinds of plants out here that she's growing up to put into the cages and whatnot, and why can I not get this lighting correct to save my life? Mm, Matt, I suck! <laughs> <laughs> so one of these days, Matt is going to find the animal that is going to be number two of the top five animals here at SoCal Herps. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, get ready. Get ready, it's coming any moment now. I can't hold this camera much longer, Matt. It's getting heavy. You better work on your arm curls then, son, because it's gonna be a while. What are you talking about? That's a huge muscle right there. It can hold this camera all day long. I don't know what you're talking about. I'll wait. I will wait patiently. Matt! What? <laughs> Hurry up, please. You may have to film something else. Ah. Uh... Answer the photo below. <laughs> I'm running it loose here. Okay. The top second. See what happens when you scared it before we started filming? <laughs> Animal number two could not be bothered to be present for the top five video. Alright. That's alright, we're gonna see plenty of those at Forest House anyway. So for this next animal, 
I'm gonna bust out my macro lens because this animal is small. It just hatched and this is gonna be the first time this animal has been shown yeah. on the internet. It's only been seen with bare naked eyes, not cameras, not phones, not zebras with stripes. Only once ever. So Matt works predominantly with hognose snakes here at SoCal Herps. And this here is a blue-eyed leucistic hognose. Matt would tell you that it was a blue-eyed leucistic and he would be incorrect. But it's okay, we're not going to judge him for it. <laughs> I'm just joking, even though I'm being dead serious. This is a blue-eyed leucistic hognose snake. How many people are working with these? Oh, maybe ten or so. Ten around. people in the world? Yeah. Whoa. Let's see if we can actually capture the blue eye. So that is the heart right there next to Matt's finger that you can see. You maybe can't quite see it beating, but that little dark spot right in the center is the heart of the snake. Being that there's no pigment in the scales, you can kind of see right through when you shine a light behind it. Bonus animal, what's your name, sir? Where are you going? There you go. Ah. <laughs> Wow, this is like fantastic. This is bonding. Savannah cat. Get that hair. Eat it. Mmm, it's tasty. Getting all your nutrients in. Is your head salty? Yes. <laughs> oh man, what are we doing in here? <laughs> Putting the cat away. <laughs> Just trying to. I it went well, ate crazy. Is, uh, is Kendall gonna mind if we show off the bedroom? Probably. Kendall. <laughs> so everybody, this is Kendall's bedroom. It's beautiful in here, actually. Look at this wonderful thing for the cat. It's nice. And the giraffe. <laughs> animal bonus animal number two. So another cool thing that Matt works with here is crocodile skinks. You don't see these everywhere or almost anywhere. This is actually the only place I've ever seen a croc skink in my life is here in Matt's office. I know nothing about them. I'm sure Matt could tell us quite a bit more. Oh yeah, I could, but I'm not going to. What kind of jerk offers to show an animal and then not tell anything about it? Hmm? Are you not even gonna answer that question? No, I'm not. <laughs> not give you any sort of satisfaction. Gosh, dang it. But look at it. It's a dragon. Leave a comment down below if you think Matt should tell us about these croc skinks. Cause I don't know anything about him. He's the only one that can tell us and he's not telling us. I... Well, man, what do you want to know? I don't know, just something. You can't ask me an open-ended question. Just, what do, they, what do they eat? They eat a variety of diet. They eat crickets, mealworms, earthworms, small minnows. Uh, what's their husbandry like? Like temperatures, lights? Low 80s. You want to keep them nice and wet. They do need a large dish to swim in every day. And so we'll put this guy back in. They are crepuscular. They come out in the early morning. And then come out in the late evening. And where are they native to? Everywhere. <laughs> you can't whisper, I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here, SoCal Herps. <laughs> In all seriousness, we're going to show you animal number five right now. And I'd like you guys to go down in the comments below and rate which ones were your favorites in order from top one to bottom five. If anybody puts indigo snake as the fifth and last favorite animal, you're officially banned from the channel. So obviously, this is a gray banded kink snake. A very awesome colubrid from the streets of New York. Is that accurate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt, Matt, I said we were going to be serious here and actually, what the? <laughs> I said we were going to be serious here and actually, like, give good information about this animal. So where, where is it from? Come on. You couldn't even turn the camera on. How are you being serious? Pretty sure the camera's on. Dude, the light in here is fantastic. Thank you. No, these guys are from Arizona. And they like to eat fruity pebbles. <laughs> we have too much fun when we're here. <laughs> wow, that's a really freaking awesome snake, dude. The light is fantastic right now. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'm not. 
I don't want to stop it. It's really awesome. These guys are from Arizona, right? Are they also in Texas too? I don't know. <laughs> but they're definitely in Arizona. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we can't call this an educational video, but we can say that it was fun and we can also say that we hope that you guys enjoyed it because if you didn't, well, you're banned from the channel too. <laughs> I'm trying to be, Matt, can, I, can we be serious for one second? We can try. No, just say no. <laughs> just say no? Alright. I'm gonna try one time. Alright. Matt, can we just be serious for a second? No. Yeah, that's probably accurate. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you guys would like to know more about these animals, you can contact Matt at SoCalHerps on Instagram. You can find SoCalHerps on Facebook, and there will also be a link down in the description for all those, including his YouTube channel, which he finally has uploaded another video after nine months of inactivity, for which you should all go to that last video and chastise him for his lack of activity here on YouTube, because we all know that if you don't put a video up, there's nothing to watch. And that's useless as a platform for videos if there's no video to watch, so. But go to that next video, both chastise him and thank him for finally uploading again. And we'll see you guys on the next video, which is gonna be at Garrett's place, where oh, we're gonna- wanna do that video. No, we, 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 I need to go there and we need to see how he feels about the fact that I desecrated his sticker once again with my own. Can you change it to the five animals that you dislike? Ooh, the five animals that we dislike. Leave a comment down below if you guys would like us to do five animals, five top animals that reach out reptiles, or the five that we dislike the most. And I promise, whichever one of those two wins down in the comments below, we will make that video, and it'll be the next one you get to see. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for having fun with us today. I know we're a little bit crazy and silly, but that's kind of how things roll around here sometimes. And so we just rolled it. Aloha. That's how it's done.